Angry Jelly is coming to Clash of Clans in the next update. At the time of filming, it wasn't released yet, but hopefully soon, guys, I wanted to put together a video showcasing how amazing Angry Jelly can be. Today, we're going to be using it with the Grand Warden for a Warden Walk, Jelly Walk attack strategy. Yes, guys. So let's check out the army we're going to be using. Four healers with the Grand Warden, eight Root Riders, two minions, including, of course, Michael the Minion, the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans, ten Valkyries, and an Apprentice Warden. Spell's going to be an Earthquake, seven Lightnings, a Freeze, Overgrowth Spell, Rage Spell, and Poison Spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle Troops, a couple of Yetis, and some Sneaky Goblins, or some Valkyries inside Max Level Siege Barracks. So let's see how this works. So, of course, we used to have the old Grand Warden walk with four healers. If you use Angry Jelly with the Grand Warden, he will target defenses initially now the amount of time the grand warden will go after defenses only depends on angry jelly's level in this replay that was filmed in the developer build angry jelly is level 10 so it's over 30 seconds i'll put how long it is at the top of the screen now guys for you so it makes for some interesting situations you just have to plan ahead have a look where the grand warden's going to go and then remember when angry jelly disengages and the grand warden goes back to attacking normal buildings you've got to think Where's the Grand Warden going to be? Is he going to be okay? And on this base, I mean, we've taken out some defences on that corner, and he's going to help funnel our troops into the base really well. Obviously, you need to think ahead and watch out for Monolith, Single Target Infernos. You don't want your Grand Warden going too far into the base and getting in danger. It's the same with the Queen Walk as well. If you use Angry Jelly, she's going to go after the defences. And it sounds really good, but it does take a bit more planning, because before you know it, your Queen could be in danger in the base. I do like using Angry Jelly for spam attacks as well with the queen maybe not the king because you've got to lose the phoenix but the queen yeah the unicorn yeah angry jelly on the queen i think that's a good combination for spam attacks a queen will go after defenses at the start of the attack that's great but i think the grand warden is probably the best fit for angry jelly so now angry jelly has gone back to normal if it's still on the battlefield i don't know if it's been destroyed i can't see it guys i can't see it anyway on the left hand side we're funneling the queen used a giant arrow and healer puppet the king over on the left hand side as well and now the troops are moving towards the town hall so from playing in the developer build with angry jelly i think the grand warden walk jelly walk is a nice attack strategy it depends on the base of course some bases you might not be able to use it because the grand warden will just get into trouble straight away but on some bases you've got some nasty defenses you want to just take out using angry jelly and the grand warden it can be really good so we're hopefully going to use the grand warden ability yeah we've used it in the center there we've taken out the town hall we're looking okay. I don't know what you're thinking as well, guys. You're thinking new level on the Monolith, Eagle Artillery. Is it going to make Town Hall 16 really difficult? No, guys, I don't think so. I think it's still relatively easy. Admittedly, in the developer build, when I film this, I do have max level heroes, pretty much max level hero. Well, yeah, definitely max level hero equipment, pets, etc. But I found attacking a maxed out Town Hall 16 base like this was pretty easy. And hero equipment, it's up to you. I do like using the giant gauntlet and rage vial or earthquake boots are good. The queen, I really like giant arrow and healer puppet. I think that's a great combination. I think that's the best combination for the queen. Grand Warden, Eternal Tome and Healing Tome. Of course, if you use the fireball with a Grand Warden and Angry Jelly, that could definitely be interesting. Let's see what the pro players get up to with that. And Rule Champion, I like the shield and Hog Rider puppet. I think that's a great combination. Anyway, here we go. Angry Jelly is there helping the Grand Warden out. He's going after defenses again. And I guess it doesn't look like we're getting too much value here, but we are sort of getting the corner of the base funneled a bit quicker, I think. The Grand Warden will hopefully take out that Builder Hut in a moment, but wants to go after the Mortar first of all. So I'm showcasing the Angry Jelly here, and I think from my perspective, the best combination for the Angry Jelly is probably going to be with the Grand Warden. The Queen, yeah, that could work on spam attacks, and the King as well, but the only thing that stops me thinking the King would be a good combination is... Can you have Angry Jelly over the Phoenix? I don't think so, guys. I think you've got some of the pets that are just so good in their roles. You know, you've got the Queen with the Unicorn normally. You've got the Grand Warden. That's the one that you can sort of change around with the different pets. I mean, you've got the Spirit Fox and the Royal Champion. I think you've got to keep that combination as well. Anyway, with this attack strategy... Sorry, guys, yes. Sorry, with this attack strategy, we're going to use an Earthquake spell and Seven Lightnings to take out high-value targets. Just look at the base you're attacking. Look for a nice area. You can get loads of value remember one earthquake and seven lightnings can take out any defense in the game at the moment eagle artillery obviously not the town hall or anything 
like that. So we're doing okay. We've got a nice funnel and it's all about keeping these attacks really easy. Nice, easy to use spam attacks. That's what I try and do on this channel. I like to use the overgrowth spell on centralized town hall bases to actually neutralize the central area. Your troops will get back to the town hall in just a moment, but it just stops them taking loads of damage. And like I said, with the giant arrow and healer puppet on the queen, you've got those extra healers to help out as well. She's got seven healers. That's amazing, guys. And if you haven't got that hero equipment for the Queen, then yeah, Frozen Arrow is fine. Invisibility Vial is amazing, of course. And Archer Puppet is great as well. You've got loads of good combinations there. So overall, guys, what do I think of Angry Jelly? I think it's amazing, it's fun, and it's going to lead to lots of different scenarios with attacks. Just like sort of the Fireball on the Grand Ward and that hero equipment. I think for myself, being sort of a casual, not very skilled player, I've struggled to use it effectively. So I think that Queen Walks, Warden Walks, a bit more advanced than this. Some of those pro players are going to do amazing things with it. I think it's a great pet. I think there's a place for it with the Grand Warden or on spam attacks with the Queen, replacing the Unicorn. But I think it's a really nice pet. I think you're going to enjoy using it. And as you can see with the army we've combined here, it's pretty powerful. We've got loads of troops left on these nasty centralized town hall bases. If you enjoyed the video, today remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell join the samus army and remember on this channel we do have something called a creator code that's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code our code is code moose and you do need to renew it once a week anyway have fun remember to practice your funneling jelly walk bye